Good morning, members of the media, and welcome to the daily press briefing of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. I am Sergeant Wayne Meister, Public Information Officer of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, and I'm here to give you some updates. Starting with uh, around 12.30 a.m. on Friday, 2nd of December, 2011, members of the Port of Spain Division Task Force, acting on information received, went to Red Hill Extension, Lavantil, in an area commonly called the tank, and found in a truck one homemade shotgun, six rounds of 9mm ammunition, eight rounds of .38 ammunition, four 12-gauge cartridges, and three rounds of .357 ammunition in a black plastic, plastic bag. No one was arrested. There was a fatal RT. The facts are around 3.40 a.m. today, Friday, 2nd December 2011, a white B12 motor car was proceeding north along the Raya Butler Highway in the vicinity of John Peter Road overpass, where road repairs are being conducted. When the driver lost control and collided with a light pole and a concrete embankment, the vehicle overturned finally coming into contact with a tree where it burst into flames. There were two male occupants of that vehicle who were pronounced dead on the scene by the police DMO and who were ordered the, the removal to the Forensic Science Center. Investigations are continuing by the Shabonas police. We just want to make a statement in relation to the murder and kidnap suspect that is on the loose and that is a connection with the murder at Mainboro Tunapuna. And we want to assure residents of Mainboro Tunapuna that the police is doing all in their powers to apprehend the suspect. At present, 24 hour patrols have been implemented by the senior superintendent in charge of the division with a view of apprehending the suspect. Searches have been launched and assistance has been sought from officers attached to the canine branch and members of the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force. It is our information that this suspect is hiding out in the forested areas in the Northern Range and he's said to be armed and dangerous. Members of the public who would have any information that will lead to the arrest of the suspect can contact 555-1800 TIPS or they can contact the Tunapuna Police Station, 645-7573, 645-1600, The numbers again, the Tunapuna Police Station, 645-7573, 645-1600, and 645-4835. That is the end of the news briefing. I know open floor for any questions that you may have. Sergeant, good morning. We have one question in relation to the suspect you are now hunting for. This suspect, from what I understand, was responsible for the kidnapping of a woman and she eventually escaped. And up to Wednesday, when I had spoken to the officer at Tunapuna, I was told that when I asked whether or not a search had again been mounted for this person who we made in hiding, I was told, well, it's not, it doesn't matter, he's in hiding, he's not hurting anybody. But now you're saying that there's a murder that has occurred and the suspect is now being named as the person. Isn't that if something more had been done before or greater effort was made to apprehend them that this might have been avoided? Well, I'm not saying that, um, but at present, murder, you're talking about murder and you're talking about kidnap and these are very serious offenses. Um, you know, the police in its proactive drive we are launching searches for this, this particular suspect so that we can bring this particular person to justice. Right? Because the members, residents, we want to ensure that our residents and members of the public are safe. Okay, but in relation to the, in relation to the same suspect, because from what I understood, when he had kidnapped the woman before, there were numerous warrant that have been issued for him and what would happen is he would go to the police station every time, sign off and then he would disappear. 
but he would keep breaching the protection order that the woman had against him. And he, even though when she was kidnapped, the, there was this big search mountain before, and then right immediately after her escape, nothing was done, no effort at all was put into finding the suspect, who we were told were armed and dangerous, yes. But at the same time now, again, you're saying that it took a murder to, again, push officers back out there, now actually hunting him down. Why was that not done before? Well, based on the information you just gave me there. Because uh, you said, uh, in fear of that, you have knowledge that kidnapping is a very serious offense. Well, uh, the additional information that you gave me there were the numerous amount of warrants. Um, th this person is involved in a lot of nefarious activities, so, which makes it much more, you know, that we should treat this matter with, you know, urgency because he is looking like he's heading for, uh, you know, to be a public enemy number one. So that is why we have all searches to apprehend the suspect. Uh, Sarge, um, uh, like, we should do the same incident also. Like, we on the same topic. Um, it's been reported that there's a list of persons that this suspect, I mean, has identified that he's going to kill from that particular area. He started yesterday with our uh, uh, Mark, that's the guy who was killed. I mean, what is the police? Is the police doing anything to, I mean, to safeguard these persons? Because it appears that he apparently rests and hiding in the nighttime and attacked during the daytime. Because, I mean, when the kidnapping took place, it was broad daylight after 10 in the morning. We saw the murder yesterday, it was broad daylight. He's always seen during the day and seems to be ever elusive when the night falls. I mean, what is being done to safeguard these residents on this particular list that he has that he intends to kill according to reports? Well, at present, we have a team of investigators treating this matter in a, in a matter that, uh, you know, of urgency. And we want to assure the public, especially the members of Mingaru, that we are doing all within our powers to bring this perpetrator to justice. No, I don't have any confirmed figures as to the amount of persons on that list. And they, um, one final thing, the residents had asked for um, uh, probably a, a, a temporary police post in that area there, so that until the suspect is brought in, whether alive or dead. I mean, is the police looking into that as well? Yes, of course. We are looking in anything that will, will cause a, a reduction in crime. We are ready and able and willing to put any measures in place. I can't confirm for sure. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, come, we have come to the end of our daily press briefing, and you know, today is Friday, and we'd like to, you know, cautiously warn our, the members of the public who are driving, you know, ensure that you don't drink and drive. If you have to drink, don't drive. If you have to drive, don't drink. You have a responsibility as road users. So thank you very much again for attending our daily press briefing and we'll see you all next week Monday. Same time, same place. Thank you very much.